When you're declaring variables, one of the first things you need to consider is each variable's scope. Scope refers to which parts of your program can see which variables. A variable can be local, module, including form variable, or public in scope. We'll discuss each. Let's begin with local variables. Local variables are the most restrictive with respect to scope. Sometimes called procedural level variables, these can only be seen within the procedure that's currently running. When your program enters the procedure, memory is allocated for the variable. When the procedure is complete, all of the memory resources for the variables declared within the procedure are freed. Let's see a local variable in operation. To declare a variable in a procedure, we use the dim statement. When working with local variables, it's important to remember that, by default, every time a procedure is executed, the local variables are reinitialized. For example, I've added a command button and a label to this form. Now I'll add some code to demonstrate the use of local variables. I'll dimension an integer variable in the command button's click event, and add a statement that increments it by one every time the button is clicked. But notice that when I click the command button, the variable never makes it past one. That's because this variable is reset every time the command button is clicked. While the default is to initialize local variables each time a procedure is called, we can instruct Visual Basic to preserve it in memory between calls. We use the static keyword in the declaration. Now the variable will retain its value between calls. Next time this procedure is called, the variable won't be initialized, and the original value will be available. Keep in mind that a static variable stays in memory, but is still only available from within the procedure. To make a variable available anywhere in the current module or form, you declare it at the module or form level. To do that, you declare the variable in the general declaration section of the module or form. You can use either the private or dim statement when declaring the variable, although private is the preferred method just from a code readability perspective. It's purely a matter of preference. There's no functional difference between private and dim statements in the general declaration section. To demonstrate a form level variable in operation, I'll comment out the old example and use my private counter as the counter. Now I'll add another command button and copy the code from the first command button to the second. Both buttons will include code that increments my counter. Notice that the counter increments regardless of which button I select. This shows that the same variable is being updated from within the click event procedure of each button. Now I'll comment out the my private counter code and uncomment the my counter code. Now the label will display the value of a private form level variable, while the other will display the value of a static local variable. Notice how each counter is maintained separately. In effect, there is no functional difference between these two variable types. Depending on your needs, either of these counting schemes could be useful. Now let's turn to the final type of scope, public. Public variables are useful when a variable must be seen in any former module. Public variables are declared in the general declaration section of a former module using the public statement. Scoping your variables appropriately both conserves system resources and makes your code more portable, so it's worth taking a moment to discuss strategies. Try to use local variables whenever possible. This conserves resources and isolates variables which makes your code less susceptible to bugs when changes are made to the program. However, when you need to have variables available outside your procedure, or even outside the current code module, use public variables. Now a couple of miscellaneous notes. First, when referring to a public variable in another form, you must use the form name dot variable syntax. But when the public variable is declared in a standard module, you don't need to use the module's name, although you may want to if public variables with the same name exist in other modules or forms. And finally, when you're working with old code, you may see global statements. 
Variables declared with a global statement work in somewhat the same way as public variables, but have some limitations. The global statement is preserved for backward compatibility, but its use is discouraged.